Hello YouTube viewers, I'm going to be making pretty much a pouring fuse lighter. Um, the things that you'll need is some kind of tape, doesn't matter, scissors, fuse, wire, or something of the sort, um, matches, and a strip on the back of it, some kind of strip that lights matches. Um, a paper clip, which is formed into a circle, and you'll be, this is pretty much the pouring part for it. So, I used the, um, match lighting part from a small match box, and, um, that's pretty much all you need. To start off making this, you're gonna have to cut a piece of fuse the length that you want. At least has to be bigger than, like, an inch and a half. So I'm going to cut a piece about this big, just for a demonstration. Okay, now take your matches and use at least four. You can use any amount you want. You at least have to use four if you at least want, if you want your fuse to be lit in. So uh, get the four. Okay. Now once you, now that you have your four matches, get a piece of tape, about, uh, yay big, put it down, take your matches, and start setting them up like this, so you do that with your matches, it's a little tricky. Now, take your fuse and bend the tip a little bit. This will kind of, in, in my point of view, increase the odds of it being lit. Now, put it so it's like that. It doesn't have to be in the exact spot, but something like that. Now, wrap the matches around it like so and wrap it up. So it looks like this. What I do is that I take something sharp, so I'm going to use my scissors, and I cut it, the fuse a little bit, so that the powder inside the fuse can be lit quicker and easily. I'm going to add a little bit more tape so that the fuse doesn't come out. I advise you to do this. Okay, now you got that. Now. This is the pouring that I was, that I showed you before. I just take a, took a paper clip and shaped it into a circle and I made it so that there's a tiny bit sticking out as you can see there. Then I put it on the two match things on it so that the spark side was facing together and I wrapped wire around it and that's what I used the wire for. Now take it and put it on as far as you can, like that. Now what I use is wire to hold it on because I don't like using tape because if I do, I'll have to take it off if I want to reuse it. And if you just use wire, it makes it more simpler. And it's great because you get to reuse it, like I said. So cut off the amount you think would be good enough, will be good enough, and take it and put it on like this. Then wrap it around with a tiny bit sticking off. So now once you wrap it around. Now once you wrap it around like that. Twist it on. Now. There you go. That's the pouring. Now you can put anything on it like smoke bombs for instance. Now the way I do it is either I use um, the wire, which I'm not going to use right now because I'm running low on it. But if I don't use the wire, I use tape and use a small amount of it if I'm going to put a lot on. And you don't need that much, you just need enough to have it stay on like this. Yeah. So, there you go. I added a little bit more because right now I'm just going to put one on for demonstration's sake. 
once I get to the demonstration. Now, this is pretty much what it should look like when you are done. The results should look like this. You should have your pole ring here, so that when you pull it, it lights the matches, which will light the fuse after like two seconds, a second. Then it will go, go th to there, and then go to whatever you put at the end. You can put anything like, like I said, smoke bombs, bottle rockets, anything you can think of. Uh, it's pretty useful if if it's windy, because lighters don't work that well in the wind, as you may know. And it's also good for if you don't have any um, lighters on you. So that's how you it how you make one. So now I'm going to um, show the demonstration. Okay, I am back and I just wanted to move all the flammable stuff out of the way so that I could uh, do this without losing all my stuff. So pretty simple to use. Just take it like so. P take the pull ring, pull it, should light that, light the fuse, and then there you go. It'll go to, and like I said before, you can use it for different purposes. Just using a smoke bomb as a demonstration. And like I said, it's the wire helps because then you can just take off the wire if you want to. You can reuse the wire, but the, but then you get to reuse this without wasting the um, sparker. So pretty useful. And that's how you make a. Pulling fire starter or whatever I said at the beginning.